Well, hey there, Brewberries. What's up and welcome to another episode of New World. I kind of actually see that boat up there and kind of want to go there. I don't know if I can make it there, mm, but maybe let's go try it. Uh, welcome on back today. I have some fun stuff to show you. So I've actually been working a bit on the rapier and been using it quite a bit. And I actually love the combat of the rapier. It is so fun. So we've got some different abilities. We've got this like dodge uh, type of thing where you just dash very short and it's uh, got a quick cooldown. And every time you attack, you actually and hit something. Uh, the cooldown on all your abilities go down just barely by like 0.1 second. So if you're hitting it multiple times, then you can actually do stuff. And it's pretty cool because you can like dash sideways. You can dash forward. Oh, it's just so cool. Then we have this like slash. And I don't know if that's actually the one that bleeds. No, this is the, the flourish. So if you flourish, you perform an attack, knocking back enemies. Then you can press the light attack at the end of the flourish and you'll continue this ability. And then you finish and you lunge forward and you then can consume all the bleeds that you have on them, which this ability puts a bleed on them. And then this ability is just a stab forward five times and it makes the uh, actual, like if they're blocking, it makes them stop blocking if that makes sense. All right, let's see if we can get up here. Oh, we can get on this rock. I don't know if we're going to actually be able to. Oh, uh, I suppose that we can. But I have been enjoying the rapier a ton. It's so fun to play around with. Oh, uh, are we going to be able to do this? Oh, my, we can. I don't even know if we're supposed to be doing this. This is awesome. Wait, really? I really did not think we would be able to do this sick well there's absolutely nothing up here so it's kind of disappointing but that's really cool but i'm i'm absolutely loving this game i honestly this i'm gonna try and make these episodes longer uh than our normal kind of 20 minute cadence that is like 20 30 minute cadence of usual videos and the reason why is just because i want to play the game a long time uh and so i'm probably going to also oh we need to open the map we did it. OK, now we can talk to Sylvia, which Sylvia, I guess, is 900 meters away. Rimini. Um, But I'm just absolutely loving this game. It is so fun. Uh, the combat is so fun. Like, watch it. Watch this. It's just the rapier is so fun. And the cool thing is you this. So the cool thing about this queue is it like cancels your kind of the lag and so you can do like a power attack and then immediately attack right after oh right in the face and so that's kind of the cool thing let's read about it just briefly so you can actually see it it is this guy the evade perform a small reliable sidestep in your current movement direction that cancels any current activity and so it's just like a full reset and so you can like do an auto and then immediately jump right on into even more autos and you can do it in any direction. So you can just be like mid and mid animation and just suddenly jump and oh, it's so good. It's so good. I got it like the combat in this game. I honestly cannot get over because it's just so fun. And the uh, whole aiming aspect of like actually like, you know, in Skyrim game type of like that general fantasy RPG, you don't actually have to aim that much. You just kind of hack and slash in front of you and you definitely have to actually aim where you're attacking in this game. And that is a uh, what is this? Who are you? But it's just very fun. It makes it much more interactive when you actually have to pay attention to where you're slicing at and I can't oh my gosh you scared the absolute crap out of me Jiminy Christmas that's scared the absolute bejesus out of me well now I'm gonna carve you up because you scared me so much oh I don't know why that thing attacked me just like out of the blue Jiminy Oh, this person's cart fell over. 
Was that because of, did like the boar attack you? They attacked me, man. Did you see my cart? The wilds of Eternum have never been safe, but the roads? Never seen anything like this before today. Vicious boars came out of nowhere. Ate all of my truffles. Why in the world would they eat your truffles? How should I know? Do I look like some kind of boar mind reader? Not me. I'm just a simple traveling herbalist. Tell you this much, however, the beasts have ruined me for the season. Any way I can help? You'd help, old hapless how? Or howie? Who? How? Who? He? How? Why, yes, you're a saint. Take my sickle. Hunt some truffles. I already made a sickle. But we get an armor case from this, so that's good. Okay, so we're going to be hunting. Gather delicious truffles. Oh, okay, so we're not. We're, well, we are hunting boar. Oh. Yeah, I really. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan. I'm a big, big fan of this rapier. It takes a moment to uh, kind of get used to get back into it but oh it's good i have another character that i've been playing around with other things oh my gosh yeah you missed yeah jerk let me get my truffles oh oh that was kind of strange okay any more truffles up there there we are let us Gather the truffles. Don't touch me, boar. Don't you touch me. I see you. You're going to touch me, aren't you? Death. Death to the boars. Very good. These are huge truffles. You, I mean, have you ever seen a truffle this big? I don't think I have ever seen a truffle that big. I don't even know what a truffle really looks like. Is there anything else? A oh, boar. Beautiful. Beautiful. And there's a truffle up here. Hello. Oh my gosh. That was the follow-up flourish. I've not actually been able to do it that effectively. But that was pretty, pretty good if I do say so. Because you just like follow up and dash. Who are you? Are you just a boar? You're just a regular boar. Nice. I did make, go ahead and make uh, some different tools and stuff. And uh, you can cut down pretty much every tree, I think, in this game. Which is pretty sick, I gotta say. And they have an animation. Look at that. Every tree has some form of animation like that. That's so cool. Don't attack me, boy. Whoa. Don't, don't, don't you attack. Why is it so, oh, there's something up there. Interesting, what is that? Level 25, mm-hmm. Okay, these are all level 25, so we're not going to do that. What is this? Berry bush? Let's do that. Oh, cool, and we got all of the, uh, let's gather up some of these berries here. We got all of the things that we need. Gather up more and more berries. This is also what I really like, is like, the the whole crafting aspect is just really well done, I think. And, and you know, being a designer, all of the animations and stuff are so cool. I love the design of this game. Like, I, I just really like the aesthetic that they've gone for. I think it looks phenomenal and i'm just gonna wander around a little bit i think it's always always behooves you to wander around what in the you're a big boar oh my gosh oh my gosh Whoa, bro. Calm it down. Oh, geez, Louise.
Yeah, you you thought you could do that. Oh. Nice, right in the butt cheeks. All right, can we can we gul gulter the fierce? He's a fierce beer, beer a bear. What bear? Boar. Goodness, English is not not an easy thing for me. Ooh, that gave us quite a bit of stuff. Is there anything here? What is this? Saltpeter. Oh, oh, and there's that right there. Okay, let's gather up some of the saltpeter. I don't really know what saltpeter is. Um, have are any of you guys playing this game? Is uh, I know it's pretty new and all that, so I, I'm just curious. Are you playing this game? What is that? All flower. Cool. Okay, so that's gone. Silver. Oh, we need mining of 10. Okay, this is a silk. Can we mark this? Well, we'll just remember. What's this? Tide Swallow Cave. Okay, so we'll, first light, and then it's up here. We'll just remember that. Um, I'm just curious if any of you are playing this game, because if not, I would highly suggest it. Especially for any of you. Oh, would you just... Why did you really respawn that fast? Primony. Leave me alone. I'm back on the path. Safety. Where'd Howie go? Oh, I guess he... Oh, he must be... Is he in the town, too? I think we're going to... Yeah, we're going to the town. Uh, well, I guess we're on to going to the town. Oh, a turkey. No, come here. Come here. I want... This boar is going to attack me, man. Oh, right in the cheeks. Oh, that's pretty cool. Old doc. Interesting stuff. Anything? That's a wolf. Ooh, what's this? Embracing the darkness. Embracing the darkness found on the road. Albert, I won't be returning to the settlement. I suspect everyone will be relieved. My own mother, most of all. But you know that in the decades since we arrived in these accursed shores, my burden has been by far the worst. By far the worst to hers. It's darned and natural for a child to watch a parent remain young as they grow old. Why I'm one of the handful here cursed to continue aging, I will never comprehend. I tried to accept my mother's youth, but after she became constable, it was impossible. Watching her take command with such vigor has only hastened my decay. Even today, I listened as she and Artificer Kim made plans for some bright future. They don't realize how stupid they sound. Whether we grow old here or not, whether we suffer to th suffer or thrive, none of us will get the peace of eternal slumber, and without the promise of death, I simply do not see the point in pretending that we are living. I thank you for your friendship, Albert, but I must now turn my back on first light and embrace the darkness, whatever that may be. Whatever that may bring. Athagard Oaks. Interesting. Well, um, that is a good example of, like, kind of lore in the area. I, that is the only thing about this game that I think I don't love is, it's not bad. The These journals and stuff are great, but that's, it kind of feels like that's where the lore of the world ends. Just because it doesn't have like, like, I mean, you think about it, like, I think Elder Scrolls Online, they had such a huge background already, or like, I don't know, Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, like they have like these big backgrounds when they made the movies or when they made the game. Um, they already had like a big background of, for the for those things to be. Also, this is pretty cool. Oh, is that first light? Whoa, that's cool. Um, but they already had like a huge background. And so it like you already knew a bit about the world getting into it. So you didn't necessarily have to have a crazy ton amount of lore to establish the world. And I feel like this game is being is holding back a bit almost in a way like that they're holding back a bit on explaining the world, if that makes sense. And I could be wrong. I mean, I could be I need to play the game more to understand it more. But I, it's kind of the, the one thing that I'm still questioning and i've only been playing it for a couple hours but i still am questioning like the what like the background of the, of the whole thing oh hey how you 
Here's my here's my new friend right here, all the truffles I lost, and then some. I hope it wasn't too hard. Keep that sickle for your troubles. If you make a habit of harvesting herbs and such, we'll cross paths again, no doubt. Awesome. Nice. Thanks for the armor kit. Let's see what we got here. Reveler pants. It is light leg gear. Clothing like this often worn to parties and other rambunctious social gathering. Cool. This is better than we have light leg wear 16. What does it look like? Oh, I can't really see because jacket. There we go. So this is the weight. And I think this helmet weighs a good amount. Like if we take this off. Boom. We are. Are we still? We're still considered medium. Why is that? Is that because of these or the gloves? Often gloves. So if we go full light armor, we then have this like super fast dodge that's like this that's pretty cool and all but we're like super vulnerable i would say i'm not sure if i like that this is already better than our current wear our current clothing uh, so i'm going to keep that and this shirt we don't have yeah it's not like amazing it's got better physical protection but maybe we just invest into the, what do these look like? Oh, they don't look bad though. I think I'm fine, fine being medium right now and having our almost heavy kind of gear. This is a really cool town. I really like the uh, design of it. This is the type of stuff I kind of wish Minecraft could do because uh, you can get all the beams and all that. What is this? Looks like we can go in here. What is this? Gunter All Rost. The hubbub going on around here. You think the place would be packed? Hmm. It would, but there's really nothing here. Can I open this chest. Nope. Cannot. Oh, that's a big fire. Okay, where are we going? Up here. Okay, let's go do that for now. Oh, is this take honey. I will gladly take free honey. Honey is darn good, man. I, any of you for, so, you know, the name is Pixel Brew, but I drink both coffee and honey. We'll look at that in a second. Oh, there's multiples around. We'll look at that in a second. It's always a treat to see a new face. Whether you are new to Eternum or simply from another settlement, you are welcome to First Light. I have a message from Watcher Lynch. Then the storm we saw out there was as bad as it seemed. The shattered mountain has erupted as well. Lynch said this day would come. It seems she was right. Yep. It's funny to recall. There was even a crazy old man warning us about corruption years ago. <laughs> Reveries aside, we'll need to think carefully about how to proceed. Uh, oh, it was old man. ago. He was stark raving mad, but kind of sweet at the same time. I heard a rumor he was wandering around Monarch's Bluffs these days. He's probably become lost by now. Okay, anything else? I'll begin formulating a strategy. We shouldn't rush into anything. I take it you are to whom Watcher Lynch referred in her message. Yep. Then the settlement is already in your debt. If you will, please inform Magistrate Bond of this news. And then visit the inn. We all need our rest, don't we? That we do. Okay, now what is this? Constable Oaks Journal. Oh, Oaks. Is that the guy that we talked to? Long since lost track of how long I've been on a tournament other than the vague recollection of a bearing children. Is this the correct one? Yes, it is. Okay, so this is the, the sequel to this. I can't even remember uh, my life in the old world. I don't know if it's time that's taken the toll on my memory or all the lies. Each year they've piled higher and I can no longer sort, sort the truth from the false. Watching Athargard slowly shrivel in body and spirit, I forced myself into the habit of putting on a hopeful smile no matter how I felt inside. Saints know I tried. For his sake, I risked everything in a desperate bid to escape the asylum, but as with everything else here, it ended with disappointment. For some reason, I still remember the smell of his skin when he was a newborn, but in the years before he left, Athagard smelled like a sick old man. It reached the point where I couldn't even get close to him. I'll never forgive myself for that. I only hope where he is now 
he's found some measure of peace. Interesting. I don't know what to make of that. Bruce proposal. Cool. I don't really want to read all of these. Um, territory. Oh, we also got a territory standing upgrade. So first light, station fee, trading tax, and storage. Um, I'm kind of thinking we do the storage because I know you gather a lot of gear in this or lore and stuff up here. Governor's desk. Open. idea what that means what that is i'm sure it'll be explained at some point oh okay so we need to talk to gladys hello gladys you'll have to forgive me a bit busy just now First the storm, then Shattered Mountain, and I'm getting no direction or help whatsoever. The constable asked me to share this message with you. Oak sent you. Better late than never, I guess. Let's see. <laughs> Don't suppose she gave you any further instruction, did she? Typical. She probably needs to consider her plan. Well, just give me the hat. That's all I want. I'll do everything I can to ensure First Light is prepared if this situation deteriorates. Let's just hope it's enough. And I will help Good. if I can. The constable doesn't realize the urgency here, but I do. We must get to work straight away. You're the one. Sounds like you're capable enough. The constable said I should visit the inn first. Of Where is that? She did. Very well. I suppose that makes sense. Check in with Innkeep Fairfax and get a room. Go quickly, though. There's no time to waste. Awesome. Sounds good. Where is this the inn? I would guess so, because that's a bear sleeping on a moon. Wait, what is this? Food supply. Oh, I have to be a part of the Covenant to do that? Oh. Welcome to the Everlasting Torch. We are always burning for you. You here to check in? Be my guest. Literally. Jokes aside, yes, let's check in. Okay, so that sets our spawn point. That's wonderful. We also did level up, and we can put more points into this guy. I did put some points into intelligence because I would like to try the fire staff and ice gauntlet at some point. Uh, but I think I'm going to, since we're going to go with lighter armor, I think I'm going to do this. Start upping. Eh, let's go ahead and do this do multiple points in the constitution just up that a little bit so that we can survive a little bit more rapier we're almost halfway there so and then we also got a new hat like to check out so it definitely is worse but it's got a better gear score and then this is worse than our gloves but that's okay oh and i also learned uh you have a separate shield slot that you just kind of keep. And I think I'm going to go with the bow for right now. Because why not? But then you don't actually have to have your shield equipped and that will drop your weight just a bit. So it's kind of like, uh, do you, is it actually necessary? And then leather, leather gloves. Yeah, those aren't, aren't better. So this is technically better. You know, what? let's just go full light armor right now. We're at, still at 116. So it's like, it's all right. We are on the cusp. What is it that's weighing us down? Well, it doesn't matter. Let's go back and talk to this lady. This is just going to be some tutorial based there stuff, I imagine. Are. I was worried I might have run you off. I'm sorry if I seem overly hasty. It's just that this really is an emergency. Okay. See? You get it. Why doesn't Constable Oaks? I do hope you'll stick around. Kind of plan on it, at least. I would never consider living anywhere other than First Light. This was once the greatest territory in all Eternum, you know. So you like it here, huh? I'm surprised you feel the need to ask. Of course I do. This place has been my home for over a century. First Light used to be one of the most influential territories in all Eternum. Not so much these days. So, uh, what happened? 
kind of awkward that you love it, but it's not that good anymore. It's a uh, long story, but indeed, once our markets were packed solid, you should visit the trading post yourself to see the current state of things. Check out the storage space available to you as well. All right. And then let's go here to, I believe this is the market. Something's a market. This guy. There's the trading post. And you can sell basically anything. Like, if I don't want this, we can place a sell order. And then this was free, so I really don't care. But selling is probably a good way. I imagine this is taking it out of my inventory. And so it's a good way to free up your inventory. Yeah, it took it all out. So I'm going to sit here and do this for a moment. Cool. So we got that. Now let us... Let's try the life staff out first. Sure, we'll bind it. I don't care. Interesting. Okay, so there's that. And then that was the trading post. And now let's go to the other one, which I imagine around the backside here. Oh, you can buy houses. Huh, that's cool. I guess we have to go all the way around. Maybe we can cut through this building. Yeah, there's places to cut through right here. Sorry, bro. Right here, storage shed. Beautiful. So we can store stuff if we want. Uh, let's just store all the stuff we're not using because we'll find stuff eventually. And we'll keep the hammer as well because I kind of like the hammer. I actually use it. We'll just drop all this. Is this the 105... 104. Okay, so this is the one we'll keep just in case. Keep this helmet as well. And you do have an inventory uh, management type of um, weight thing to keep track of. Uh, cherry. Oh, are we going to get milk? Thanks, Cherry. Thanks for your milk. As you see, it may have lost its luster, but we have everything one could need in first light. With decisive action, we can make this territory stronger than ever. That we can. I will continue to do what I can here, but ultimately it's up to Constable Oaks to rally the settlement. Perhaps she has a plan. I hope so. Sylvia's had enough time to develop her strategy. Please go and inquire as to her intentions. If she still has nothing to say, feel free to hover about until she does. Got it. So this is kind of what I mean, most things like this are when starting out just a bunch of back to back type of like back and forth. New upgrade for first light standing gain territory standing you gathering speed by 5% crafting fee. Just do the standing. I don't really know what the standing exactly does. I think it maybe gives you a benefit to everything, just a little bit less than just like that direct benefit, but who knows? Ah, oh, it's nice to see you again. I hope you're enjoying your time in first light, despite all these fears about the corruption. Do you have a plan? Seriously? Ah, Magistrate Bond is getting impatient, isn't she? <laughs> Always driven to action. It's one of her strengths. But sometimes we need to think first. One truth that never changes is that the first light settlement always needs supplies. And you're going to send me to go gather it. That's the spirit. Even under dire circumstances, slow and steady is the course. <laughs> I would welcome your help. Gather wood, stone, and rawhide, and then refine them. Every little bit helps. All right, cool. So we definitely have enough rawhide because we had to kill a billion freaking things. So I'm imagining we just have to go and find it outside somewhere because uh, it's not directing us anywhere. What is this? Uh oh, fast travel. Cool. Let's get out of here and go find like a rock. Yes. We need to gather wood, which we can do right here. And you can kind of hear there that the tr 
tree chopping and like the different stuff you do actually echoes based on your environment. It's kind of cool. Like it, it sounds like it's echoing off of the rocks that's right near here. And so it's like very cool. Like the sound design in this game is phenomenal. That is that is probably the best thing. The UI and the sound design, I think, is really awesome looking and sounding. Let's try this uh, life staff out. Was interesting. Not anything crazy, but. Get this uh boulder. Okay, resources gathered. Now let's go craft timber at the woodshop, craft stone at the stone cutting table, and coarse leather at the tannery. Uh, please tell me it's on the ship. That would be awesome. Please tell me they use this ship as their like crafting core. Darn, I don't think it is rough down here you really don't take much fall damage in this game i guess i can't get over that I gotta go around and for any of you curious why i want to use magic uh instead of like the bow or something because investing into intelligence also helps your rapier not as much but it does help uh tannery let's see coarse leather and let's just uh we need to make 10 so let's make 10 beautiful so there's 10 of that oh we need to make four okay well live and learn <laughs> now we need to make logs and this we need to make 10 and stone cutting And we'll make 10. Nice. Okay. Now we can talk to Sylvia. Gather these lore bits. Biding time. Control your temper. That's what I'm getting from this. Let me know if you do. You, if you want me to read these, I can. Um, I just think that there's a lot. So I'll leave them up for you to be able to read if you like pausing and reading lore stuff. Uh, but for me... I read them kind of on my own, um, but for video purposes, I don't really know how engaging it is for me to actually be reading pieces of paper all the time because there is quite a bit of that stuff around. That is the one that is one thing that is kind of if you're if, like, I know I kind of hit it hard on the, the lore not being fleshed out enough or anything, but like the journals are well done. Um, it's just, first moment, I don't know. I knew you'd prove to be an excellent addition to our community. Trust is the foundation for ev any time you fancy. Visit me or, or the town board outside and take any task that suits you. In the meantime, there's more you can do with these refined materials. Of Point course, me. In addition to your other fine attributes, you seem to be good with your hands and we could use more of that. Take these materials to Ji Hoon Kim, our resident artificer. He'll show you what to do. Is she hitting on me here? My fine attributes? Is it my chops? Did you talk to Artificer Kim? He usually spends his time near the wood shop to the south. Ah, okay. To the wood shop. What did we get here? Common rescuer pants. Are these is this light or medium medium legwear with worse score but better rating um what i've heard from other peeps as well the reason why i wanted to oh we should have gotten a let's go back to the trading post because we should have definitely gotten a rapier i don't know why i didn't do that oh and there's also this uh board here to do different things and so you can just take all of these like so, you can take all of these and they're just kind of like your standard daily things to do. And there's tons of them. So yeah, you can kind of just 
do that at your leisure and then they're kind of marked out on the map here the map is also pretty gargantuan like look how huge this is and there's no mounts in the game so it's kind of takes forever to wander around that's probably one of the only downsides that uh, i've seen from kind of the gameplay aside like this jump being heinous um there's no mounts and so it's kind of difficult to get around a bit what is this arcane repository tannery where am i going oh this guy ah, it is very nice to meet you if sylvia believes you're good people then that is good enough for me cool we've reached level nine it's my belief that everyone in first light i've always thought so and if rumors about a surge in corruption are to be believed the settlement will need to increase its weapon stores if you want to contribute to our defenses this is one way you can do so sure then i shall teach you how to forge a simple blade take this satchel of ore open it and smelt the ore into ingots then take up the hammer and make yourself a sword what if i don't want to make a sword but a rapier uh let's see here so this is going to increase our damage by one really if we do this by two it only goes up by one if we do this by two it only goes up by one. Seems strange. Hmm. Well, we'll just do that. Increase a little bit of both. Life staff, what do you have? Heal target for 150% weapon damage. Okay. Shoot out a lot of projectiles. Shoot out a lot of projectiles. Okay. Oh, we have to open the open this satchel got plenty of rawhide got that let's give this a go too i want to see what this looks like well that's kind of cool it's just like a frozen glove cool so we've got this smelter and we need to make iron ingot and let's just make them a lot of it might as well up our smelting by a lot that's smelting craft it at the forge where is the forge over here okay very cool this is i do love the crafting aspect of this game i don't want to make this do i have enough to make us a rapier how much does it require seven timber okay we can probably make one and it's an uncommon so let's keep crafting and see if we can make a better rapier Potential gear score 2-0 indicates the gear score range that your item will... It's based on... Different by your skill. You dif use different tiers and rarities of resources. Okay. That's cool. How do you make... What is this? That is a regular sword. Twig of the Azoth tree. Oh, so you need fey iron. Okay, let's just make a regular rapier. Two oh one. That is better than what we currently have. But let's do a bit of a comparison here. So this guy. Uh, let's switch this. So this is the Iron Long Sword of the Assassin. Two dexterity and intelligence. Interesting. And then we have this rapier, which is two oh one. It does one hundred thirteen damage and seventy six thrust. Interesting. Well, let's do that and can we salvage this guy i don't know what that exactly does but cool well what have we here a fine blade indeed i did not notice it when you first approached but just now i saw it quite clearly you have a potent aura my friend the course of your destiny will affect that of many others and I hope that's a good thing. I do too. You know who you should speak with. Albert Riches, our resident survivalist. But so much more than that. Yes, you should go introduce yourself. Okay, we're going to learn about camping. But let's open this. Round shield. Blech. Boring. 
salvage into something. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, you can dye stuff. That's cool. Change the skin. Whoa, that was cool. All right, so we need to go talk to this Albert person. And it looks like there's a staircase over here. So we'll go talk to Albert and figure out this whole camping situation they want us to do. And then we may, may call it there. I don't know. Let's get on up here to Albert. Here's an intrepid young soul if I've ever seen one. A coincidence you show up on the same day as the shattered mountain erupts? These are strange times in first light. Much change is afoot. Got to keep your head about you. That is a good idea. It is, isn't it? But here's a question for you, friend. If this place comes crashing down, how do you see yourself handling it? Exactly. Do whatever I can. You survive. You go on. But do you have what it takes? Let's find out. What say you set yourself a camp outside these walls and hunt some wool from the local dens? I'd like to see it. Okay, so the wolves are this away. So let's go and get on out and set up our first campsite so we can make a campsite to respawn in the wild. Well, that's cool. So if you kind of go through and you need, you're like way far away from a settlement, you can kind of set your spawn. Very cool. So let's figure this out. There's this area here. Let's get to this road that's up here and then we can set our spawn and we can try out this if we see any baddies. What are those? This is kind of cool. Nice. I do like that. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Let's see it. What's the range? Ooh, it's pretty far. Nice. Let's do the ice spike. See what that's all about. That's cool. Yeah, I still really like the rapier. And it is nice having a rapier. But let's do this camping thing real quick. Okay, so we need to put five wood and one flint. Nice. So we can craft here. Very simple stuff, I would imagine. Yeah, you can. So we can craft. We can do light rations, travel ration, red meat, ah, wolves, bears. Oh, okay, so we'll get some stuff from wolves and we can make a better food source. Awesome. Well, guys, I think that is going to be a great place. Let's get on on our bed here and then uh, look at the fire and sit down. And well, guys, I think that is going to be a great place to leave off this episode. I'm going to go ahead and continue with this storyline a little bit and get it down. I don't think we're going to be missing too much. And I'm just going to do some of those board requests as well. Just level up the character, play around with some more of the abilities and stuff. And I'm not trying to make this a too in-depth type of walkthrough of the game. Uh, but I hope you guys are enjoying. If you did, leave a like in real life. And I will see you guys in the next episode of New World. Bye-bye. Uh,